Hawaiian weightlifting champion Tommy Kono dies. A master of weightlifting, he passed away at 85 years old. He died of cirrhosis of liver-driven hepatic encephalopathy on Sunday after a battle in Honolulu, Hawaii. Born in 1930, Kono is a Japanese-American film star. Having started weightlifting at 14, he became a serious competitor. At the 1952 and 1956 Olympics, he won two gold medals for the United States in weightlifting. While interning at the Thule Lake Camp for Japanese Americans during World War II, he developed the Tommy Kono weightlifting and wrote three books on weightlifting. As well as developing the sport of bodybuilding, he mentored many athletes throughout his career. A countless number of other people have been inspired by him to reach great heights. He is survived by his daughter Joanne Sumida, who told the New York Times, My father was an incredible man, and I'm very proud of him. He will always be remembered as an inspiration to everyone he touched. Sports Greatest Champions He was the Olympic champion in weightlifting. He won two gold medals at the Olympics and four world titles in weightlifting. Interns from Japanese-American communities are housed at Thule Lake. Masters Tommy Kono began weightlifting at 14 years old as an asthmatic intern. After becoming one of the greatest weightlifters in history, he won two Olympic gold medals and founded his weightlifting program. As a weightlifter, Tommy inspired countless others to achieve their goals. Bodybuilder winning the title Mr. Universe he won two Olympic gold medals for the United States after taking up weightlifting in a Japanese internment camp. Eighty-five years old was his age. Some say that Tommy Kono was the first bodybuilder to hold the title of Mr. Universe in 1954, which is still in use today. Throughout his career, Tommy